Hello, I'm Troy Deitmeyer, Pioneer Field Agronomist in Northeast Iowa. Today is May 24th and I am in a soybean field near Jessup, Iowa and wanted to visit just briefly about some of the bean leaf beetle activity that we're seeing, especially in the early planted untreated soybeans. And bean leaf beetles, typically the first generation likes to attack the the early planted soybeans, the largest uh, soybeans in the area, uh, at least the first generation does, and I've been kind of seeing some hot spot activities throughout my travels here. Just kind of wanted to show you guys some things to look at. And what I'm in here is an untreated uh, soybean field, and you can kind of see right here we do have a fair amount of feeding on what we call our unifoliates. Now the trifoliates are just about ready to start un unfolding, but we still are not at te technically that first trifoliate stage. But you can see here, we have some of these unifoliate leaves that are you know, nearly 75% defoliated. Now, typically we usually don't get too excited about spraying bean leaf beetles uh, this early in our soybean crop. Uh, but if you guys are out and about and you start to see that the, the, the bean leaf beetles are, are getting ahead of the vegetative growth, then that's probably something that we want to be concerned about. Technically, I think the threshold is right around that 25% defoliation, but with the warm weather that we're having, we should get a lot of very rapid uh, growth here over the next few days. We've had adequate moisture and hopefully uh, we can just outgrow these things. So just wanted to kind of let you know uh, what's going on if you guys are having questions out there. I was on two fields today where we did recommend an actual treatment to uh, come on out and, and, and kill the, the bean leaf beetles. So uh, right across the road actually there was a field of soybeans that has soybean seed treatment on it. And you can see here the insecticides working very, very well. So these uh, soybean plants here maybe have a little bit of feeding on the uh, cotyledons, but uh, the rest of the plants look really good. So compared to here just across the road. So the value of the soybean seed treatment is, is definitely showing. One thing to keep in mind to help us keep the check on the bean leaf beetles is, or to remind yourself of the value of soybean seed treatments, the lower we can keep the first generation, the lower the second generation will be. The second generation transports what we call bean pod, bean pod model virus, and that can cause that discoloration on our soybeans come harvest time and, and give us some quality issues. It also can cause green stems in soybeans, which we've been having a lot of the past couple years as well. So uh, I was a little bit surprised to see these bean leaf beetle activity be so high. We did have a lot of sub-zero weather in December with no snow cover, and typically, uh, bean leaf beetles generally start to have pretty high mortality once we get, you know, 14 or 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So we were, you know, 15, 20 degrees below that, but apparently they must have been burrowed in and the cold weather must not have lasted long enough. So again, this is what you're going to see, that typical, uh, you know, leaf puncher type hole. And if you have any questions, be sure to give your local Pioneer sales rep a call. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.